I got it. Wow. I got it. That's my daughter singing back there. <laughs> and uh, my mom's over here going, don't cry. <laughs> but, but you know what? I have been crying. <laughs> and um, it's not a, they're not tears of, of fear. They're tears of celebration right now. That's right. Because, Wow. You got this, Mama. I know I do. I'm here, right? <laughs> the lion's out the cage, Dre. Who let her out? Si se puede, para de siempre, right? Wow. I am honored and humbled. I'm blessed. That word bendición. Can we say bendición? Bendición. Blessings. Ache. To be in this room with all of you for this exciting chapter in our journey as comunidad, as survivors, yes. and as village, focus on the next representation of what our state deserves. This is what unifying mm -hmm. is. All the shades of brown, I wrap these words from the darkest to the lightest, baby. That's what St. Paul is. A unification of our resistances for equality and the well-being for our children's future. Reflecting on the dedication to service and community that I have been a part of since a child brings me right here, right here in this market that was actually across the street. <laughs> and the Silva family, thank you, because you guys always say, Mija, you're, you're, how old are you? Well, I'm old enough to run for Senate. <laughs> and I'm old enough to remember being a little girl buying candies. And I tried to buy them with my piggy bank change that my abuela told me we say, but we can do this. And Don Tomas would say, not here. <laughs> Here's your coco. <laughs> Connecting neighborhoods that raised me. Frogtown. I had a blast playing basketball and singing choir and learning how to professionalize a voice in concert chorale. And I also didn't have such a blast with tearing a hamstring, but it taught me to be stronger on those basketball courts in Frogtown. It raised me. And many of you here have raised me, and wow. Your work, your sacrifice, your leadership. I am a child of a village, but I am now also a mother of a village. Yes. And that is a responsibility that has been taught to me since before I even had a choice, I was moving in my mother's womb in legislature. <laughs> so when folks say they don't know the Capitol, I tell them, well, why not? Let's walk up in there. And it's an honor to see my familia, my CEP familia in the house today. <laughs> Who gave me a safe space and, 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 and recognize that we are here from so many different villages to fight for the same thing. Hello. Amen. And y'all are here. And I'm proud of that. I'm just reflecting, and that's a word I'm going to use a lot. But then the solidarity and the unity of our culturas. We unify braids together. Just like the indigenous focus on how sacred their hair and their braids are. Because Charlie, we know, hey sis, we got to go on the battlefield. Can you braid my hair? <laughs> well, you know, I'm a drummer, but I'll try, bro. <laughs> I see so much good in our people, in our history, our youth particularly in this district of 65, our youth of color who are in my care after school from the west side right across the street in the same building that my mother and leaders like Gilbert DeLeo, Donnie Luna, Larry Lucio, Doña Castillo making sure that we had clinics to go to even when we're still fighting for healthcare 
We're bringing incredible assets to the table with our youth because I have them every day. And I let them know you have potential to do what it is that you want to do. Be who you want to be. Well, they tell us we can't. They told me I couldn't. They told me I couldn't rap. They told me I couldn't write. They told me I couldn't be in a movie. They told me that we couldn't utilize our curriculums or speak of our leadership and where we come from, whether it be the island of Borinque, Oaxaca, Mexico, Michoacan, Colombia, Somalia, Nigeria, the continent of the beauty of heartbeat of drum like Africa, the refugee camps of Thailand, There's pride in that, celebrate it. That's right. We celebrate that. We don't look at the borders. We don't create them. We create circles like the drums that I play. We communicate by the drum. And there's, there's two different groups that we're working with here, and I'm not talking about parties. I'm talking about humanity. I'm talking about you either have soul or not. Because when you have soul, you communicate just like those drums. You hear them and you follow them and you listen. And I'm listening to our youth. They communicate through those drums. They learn how to speak through those drums even if they don't have the words. They are strong. Our district and community deserves a leadership that is bold and connected in the fight for access to quality health care and the ability to afford basic medications. I know that they told us that we couldn't pass the Alex Smith Affordability Act. Us as type one diabetics who need this like water. Yeah. Some of the folks that are leaders in there that we've been here in these circles have told us, but you never give up. Si se puede, pa'lante siempre. Blessings. And we fought. And now, what? In the words of Nicole Smith Holt, who is under the weather, and there's also a pandemic happening, and we're taking care of each other in that. She stated, we have to do this. We don't stop. We have to do this. She lost her son, and her son and I share something that's in common. We fight every day for affordable health care so that we can be here and living for our children. We passed that in the pandemic, one of the first, if not, bills to be signed by the state of Minnesota in a pandemic. <laughs> Our district and community needs a leader with a vision of economic development through an artist and community-rooted lens. Where there's art, like Attorney General Keith Ellison stated, there's movement. 60s, 70s, I think about our Vietnam veterans like my father who are elders who are still, still saying, keep the hope alive. There's music, there's movement, there's art. Our district and community deserves how we can fight for affordable housing and the preservation of existing community that's being pushed out in equitable development and gentrification. We are here in our barrio. We're not going anywhere. Our businesses come together. Or go downtown and our businesses come together because we're surviving through this together. It is with this in mind today, and with the support of every corner in this community of District 65, which is a lot more than the west side, I'm excited, guys. Can I hear y'all clap? Because I've never rapped this bar before. I'm excited to announce my candidacy for Minnesota State Senator of District 65. And I'm not doing this as an individual. I'm running as a response of our community demanding a voice at decision-making table. I am Boricua from the west side of St. Paul. You know I can guarantee that I'm going to be loud and bold because I'm not quiet in Fox face. Y'all know I don't know how to whisper. I will not go home after the Capitol as Senator being okay with knowing that many in our district residents of Minnesotanos at large do not have access to basic needs. As Senator, I will not go home after a day at the Capitol being okay with the status quo. My students are here from the west side right here. Give it up. They 
they stayed till class and they listened and came at seven when they were dismissed. <laughs> at center, I would not go home after a day at the Capitol being okay with that status quo. For them, for my daughter, for your children, for our elders. As Senator, I will bring along the next generation, just like my mother, just like Sandra Vargas, just like Sharon Sales Belton, who said, go get them, baby. <laughs> La doctora, and someone that had inf still influences me and had a Zoom call with me saying, it's time. Ramona Rosales, it's time. And I learned that I can't say no, just like she doesn't say no, 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 si se puede. My good mentor, my mom's mentor, the mentors of the chief of this village, Gilbert DeLeo, who said, it's time and we have your back on each corner. You let us know what we have to do. Thanks, chief. Thanks, Joyce, because it takes a partner to do that. It takes a village to do that. So many. Robin Hickman, Susana de Leon, Jackie Shoholm, Gloria Contreras, Maya Santa Maria, Melissa Silva. <laughs> they're the homegirls, but no, they are the mothers and the tias and the primas in this village. The madrina ship is strong, y'all. And I'm here because of them. I have another. Madrina, who is an indigenous of this land, who gave me these words. We are not charity, Maria Isa. We're doing this for justice. And shout out to Winona Leduc, who's at the front lines of what's happening in her, on this land of her ancestors and say, we fight just like my brother Charlie Thayer said, we fight together. We don't fight for disruption, for disruption. We fight to unify and save our children's lives. They're right here. Y'all right here? Yeah. You're right there, the mayor of the West Side, Debbie Luna? Shoot, I was like, you better be here. If not, I don't know. I'm here through the health advocacy of Dr. Miguel Fio that when a hurricane happened in Puerto Rico, I said, I'm gonna rep to fundraise whatever we can do to make sure that the right doctors are there in the campos when there's no water, no electricity, no medication. He called me. First line to get through when a hurricane disrupted where my ancestors, where their patria is my patria, our patria, Alex, of Pinuelas, Puerto Rico, who plays his drums with me because that's what we do. We come, and it wasn't just Puerto Ricans for Puerto Ricans, it was all of us. Just like Charlie said, it takes all of us. I'm ready to fight for all of us because I had been doing this since I was a child. Why don't you just rap? Well, you forgot how good I can rap. You forgot how good I can rap if you're just telling me to just rap because guess what? I'm gonna rap. I'm rapping right now. And we've got bars to give at legislature. <laughs> I pledge you that when elected to the Minnesota State Senate, I will bring every voice and perspective that has been internationally disconnected and disengaged from the political process that impacts our day. To the elders who have paved the way for me to be able to have the audacity to even run for office. Wow, we're doing it, mom. She said, I didn't do it, I was in there, we made this happen, but now you know why? I know why now, I guess I know why. I, I, we have to stand up. Debbie, we have to. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah. To Wesco, to the organization that made sure that, that, that said, Maria, let, come on, you know, come on, the kids. The kids need something. We organize for the kids in community because it's food, we need nutrition for our children. We need to teach legacy, because we have a pride in our histories of St. Paul here. Thank you. To my familia, to the homegirls, get ready to door knock. Hey. To the homeboys, 
get ready to throw some bars of, of, of fundraisers and rap and DJ Tech and Jesse. I see y'all back there. We've been doing this since y'all was at Capitol Hill and I was at St. Agnes. You know what I'm saying? Because it takes a village. I want to thank my husband who is over there with... With your screaming child. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> takes takes time a generation of women being bold and loud. I'm just a bit louder because I have a Puerto Rican father too. <laughs> and we don't hold back, right, Phil? Never. Never. Thank you, Muja, Roberto, Robert. Everyone knows your government name now. And I know that my mother-in-law is very happy about that because she said, I named him Robert. Yeah. That's right. For having my back since I was a 22-year-old girl that was not a girl, I was a woman, but I look at her now and she's a girl because I've grown to reflect on that. And I look at the journals that I wrote that said, you will run one day, you will run one day. And he had my back on the hip hop stages in battle and he's like, if you can battle every guy, every woman that I've met on that stage, that legislature, they sure have a stage to present in the battling on these bills that are trying to trap our gente, trap our people. Thank you, thank you, Bob. My daughter, my purpose, my breath, my life. My mom, you told me, when you give life, it takes you on a whole nother journey. And that's what I'm doing, I'm doing another journey so that we can live. Because I hold that little girl and she's bold and screaming. She wants to be with mommy because she wants to be right here giving her own speech too. Best believe me. So. That's way too many Puerto Ricans. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I just want to give thanks to the primos, the tios, the, my cousin over here always had my back. My cousin in the back over there, Luis Santiago, making it happen. My, my comadre, Ileana Vega, since day one, whose son is type one diabetic, and we said, it's okay, he's gonna be okay. And I fight and I bring him and teach him what legislation is because his, his legislature, because his, his teachers, they don't teach you that. We're going to teach our children how we can win, how we can change this, how one day you can be up here. Tajane, how you're a leader and you're going to be someone who can choose to be in this space too one day. Y'all show me unconditional love and support through the good, the bad, and the pretty. Cause ain't nothing ugly about our District 65. It's a lot of beautiful faces, a lot of orgullo, support, and that's everywhere in this state. That's why I just can't, where, where are you going for state? What's what state? Because this is a statewide initiative and we are the capital city and we have had legacies that have gone underneath and we're documenting and we're making sure that it's represented through a mural, through a song, through places and spaces and businesses and making sure that we are surviving still. And that work is happening throughout the state as well. Shout out to Minnesota Latinos that are here. Kenneth, Wendy, the initiatives that we're talking on agenda. Cause it's, it's, it's not just about this space, it's about creating more space and circles. There's a lot of square dancing happening in legislature and I'm ready to salsa up in there. You know what, I'm ready to, I'm, I'm ready to bring some bimbo. Merengue, cumbia, dance hall, baby. Ahí estamos. I have a strong team and we're ready to win. I have a very strong team and we're doing everything. And our power, and our energy, and some of us don't even know where we get the energy to do it, but I have a lot of good coffee that comes from Puerto Rico, Dr. Fio. My grandmother, I have her energy and her spirit. And I think the village that she fed through that cafecito every day and that she took care to nurture me so that my mom could do the things that she did. That my daughter's protected by the comadres are in this room so that they're telling me, we got you. And I'm like, I know how it is. <laughs> those crying that she does, I remember those. But I knew it was for a purpose because she took me everywhere. 
And I'm not just taking my kid, I'm taking all the kids of this District 65 to make sure that this is a voice, this is your platform, and I'm here to speak for you. Santos, you know that. Jermaine McKinley, my Twin Cities Mobile Jazz. This is for our children. This is for our future. And I love y'all. I'm honored. We're gonna do this. And with that, miigwech, salam aleikum, palante siempre, si se puede, from a little star, from that little star of our bonita bandera, it's all of our banderas waving together. And that's what the flag of, the, of this state of Minnesota is homage of it. That is it. That is what I want to do. That's what I want to reflect. And my students, I'm here for you 100%. Yeah, I know I went off script. But I'm a rapper. And I'm a mother. I'm a community organizer. I'm a youth worker, international recording artist. And I'm gonna be your next state senator. With that, Maria Isa Perez Hedges. I love y'all. Palante. Gracias. Come on, y'all. Let's hear it.